Greetings, viewers! I am Professor Photon, and I, along with my STEM students, welcome you to this year's Robot Drone League Challenge, Scarecrow. The challenge. Biobuilder and Robot Drone League need your help. An infestation of fungi and insects have ravaged agricultural crops across the globe. Scientists believe the crisis is due to climate change, rising temperatures, global flooding, and antimicrobial resistance developed in what was once thought to be disease and insect resistant food plants. The increase in diseases infesting croplands and agricultural food resources across the United States have especially affected our most prominent agricultural food product, corn. Governments, farmers, and scientists already face a significant problem of increasing food production by 70% to meet the needs of a population of 10 billion people by the year 2050. And on top of these diseases too, a solution must be found. That is where you come in! For this game, alliances comprised of blue and red teams compete to complete as many tasks as possible within a 10 minute match. The goal? Score higher than the rival alliance by completing a wide variety of tasks. Once teams have been paired and stations set, the game can begin with the autonomous period where Alliance drones and robots must operate autonomously and complete tasks for the first 60 seconds of the match, including aerial mapping by flying around the perimeter of the fields. Once the autonomous period has ended, the teams can regain manual control of their drones and robots, though leaving them autonomous for longer can net Alliance's more points in the long run. Now, you may currently be wondering what other kinds of tasks we have in store for this game. Well, let's take a look-see, shall we? Alliances must gather and inspect infected corn and use the biobuilder accelerators on the field to engineer crop seeds resistant to fungi and various diseases, but don't think it'll be that easy. These crops are surrounded by a tall fence that must first be opened in order to reach the stalks of corn within. But that isn't the only thing that needs doing. The biobuilder accelerators are lacking the power needed to assist in developing these seeds. To restore power, teams must connect the accelerators to either the solar panels or to the power poles. Solar panels need to be readjusted and cleaned in order for them to generate power. If this proves to be too daunting a task, teams can opt for plugging the accelerator directly into the power pole. When supplied power and fed a corn fungus sample, the accelerator will deposit a genetically engineered seed which must be analyzed at the lab station before delivering it to the fallow. Alliances can gain many points doing these tasks. This, however, isn't the only thing teams need to worry about. Broken pipes can lead to all sorts of problems in the household and in the fields. Here, Alliance robots must navigate said fields to approach the broken pipes, turn off the water flow by turning a valve, replace the damaged section of the pipe with a new section, and finally turn the water back on. And that's not all! Water and reservoirs need to be tested, RFID beacons must be captured, STEM questions posted on the monitors must be solved, food scraps must be delivered to methane generators, and there are bugs all over the orchards that need to be contained! Yes, bugs! Bugs! Phew, quite the collection of challenges. Now, no two tasks are alike, both in terms of complexity and point payout. The alliances need to carefully decide which tasks to focus on. It could be the difference between victory and defeat. Points are tallied at the end of the match, and the alliance with the most points can proceed to the next, while the other is knocked out of the bracket. At the end of the tournament, the last alliance standing will be pronounced RDL Alliance Champions! Do you think you have what it takes to become RDL's next champions? Then come join us in this year's Robot Drone League Challenge, Scarecrow!